Tepper. That's Greg Powers. This is This Week in Cruton. Pickles turning down the mic. <laughs>
Now, that being said, his future is on the defensive yeah. side of the ball in College Station where he projects as an island cornerback, a boundary cornerback who has a size to take on the biggest and best SEC wideouts. And what I like about his game from like a technical standpoint, his hips are tremendous. I mean, you can't coach six foot, six foot one in a quarterback body, but his hips are extremely flexible, which allows him to flip and stay in coverage in tight coverage, even with the smaller, speedier receivers. And that's what I love about Kobe's game. He's one of the best pure cornerbacks in the Lone Star State. It's a big recruiting win for Mike Elko and company, getting a guy that they feel like they can just, uh, they could throw out there probably early, I would say. Yeah. Like, you know, he's not, he's not a project. He's, he's, he, is a, he is a guy who uh, will continue to improve, but like you would feel good putting him out there at, at, at an early age. And those positions in the transfer portal were real important for Texas A&M this year. They've taken multiple, multiple guys in the secondary, uh, but they're gonna build up their depth and really start to change that program around based upon successful high school recruiting and they are serious about the Lone Star State. I think most of their commitments, if not, I think all their commitments are pretty much from the Lone Star State in this class. So Mike Elko and his staff there are serious about recruiting Texas talent. See on the board is big win for Texas A&M on the recruiting trail. It's This Week in Recruiting with Greg Powers, our Director of Recruiting here at Dave Campbell's Texas Football. Get involved in the conversation on hashtag TF today. Let's roll on to our underclassmen of the week. Our underclassmen of the week, let's go to Central Texas, to Hutto, to talk about the hippos junior running back Keelan Chavies, who is uh, picking up offers, picked up an offer this week from TCU. He's already got heard from places like Baylor, Texas Tech, K-State, Houston. Uh, the next big thing for the Hippos is their outstanding running back. Yeah, I mean, they, it's nice to be able to turn to the ground game after using, losing yeah. William Hammond, yeah. the guy who, and I can't even remember how many touchdowns he scored last year. But he a lot. A, he was a Mr. Texas Football uh, Player of the Year finalist, and deservedly so. Well, now I think that they're going to concentrate on giving the football to Shavies a whole bunch next season, and you're starting to see his recruitment take off as schools have come through during the spring evaluation process. I want to throw a comparison out there. Okay. Most Texas high school football fans and college and NFL fans will know who this is. He reminds me a lot of Ronald Jones. Oh, yeah, when so, he was at McKinney North. Very similar size, 5'11", 180. Um, they have a similar uh, skill set because they can – I would say they're versatile in the fact that he's at – inside outside runner he's got the speed to take it outside but likes to live in the middle uh, a whole lot he's, he has the strength to break tackles but the speed to run to run by you and that's why his recruitment has really really started to get up into the top levels you know you're starting to see these p4 schools come after him you mentioned baylor and tcu in state houston i believe so three p4 offers mm -hmm. in state wouldn't surprise me to see this list double by the time the end of the season rolls around. Keelan Shavey is a name to know down there at, at Hutto, probably the new tip of the spear offensively for the Hippos, just a junior as well. Let's round it all out with our Recruit of the Week. Our Recruit of the Week is Mesquite Horn, big offensive tackle Lamont Rogers, who this week narrowed down to his top eight. SMU, Texas, Texas A&M, Florida State, LSU, Missouri, Oklahoma, and Tennessee. Uh, six seven three hundred and five pounds is Lamont Rogers at uh, at Mesquite Horn, and somebody one of those eight programs is going to be very happy to have him. Yeah, no doubt about it. Lamont Rogers is a true left tackle projection for me. He's one of the top rated guys in the entire Lone Star State, regardless of position. I think he checks in at number fifteen right now in our rankings, and one of these programs is going to get extremely lucky whenever he makes his decision because he's the guy that you can develop into a future NFL first round pick one day. He's a tremendous basketball player at Mesquite Horn, mm. and you can see that basketball athleticism right, I mean, immediately it jumps out on tape as he's able to mirror defensive ends. He's really good in pass protection. One thing that I love about Lamont Rogers' game is that he's grown so much as a player since he took his first reps there in the Horn offensive scheme. He gets better and better with each rep. Year over year, he's continued to make strides, and I think just like kind of watching his development throughout the course of this offseason. This has been his best offseason so far. He's really hit the camp circuit hard, kind of test his medal against some of the other top prospects throughout the entire country and in the Lone Star State especially. He's always passed those tests. So I think that Lamont Rogers is going to be a key ingredient to one of these schools' classes. And if you're asking my opinion mm -hmm. on who to like really keep a serious eye on, it seems just like with me going into – interviewing him multiple times three schools i'm keeping a close watch on are oklahoma texas and texas a&m mm -hmm. now tennessee has remained in this picture for a long time lsu has really come into it pretty strong but those three programs have been a constant on his list and those are the ones 
that I'm really watching closely as this June official visit season hits us. Lamont Rogers, uh, one of the highest rated players in the entire class 2025, down to eight schools. He will pull the trigger coming up here soon. He's Greg Powers, our director of recruiting here at Dave Campbell's Texas Football. Follow him on Twitter at GPowerScout and see his fine work at TexasFootball.com slash recruiting. But don't you worry, folks. He's not going anywhere. He's chained to the desk. Thanks, Powers. I'll be here, I guess. <laughs>